Welcome to Studio One Live. I'm Hey Rude the Guru, and this is Rude Radio. I know every town the same, every place I go. People tell their stories about the. <laughs> we will roast your program. <laughs> and all YouTubers and content creators alike. <laughs> Kong TV. So I'm going to add that to its brain. Um, singer. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a bit. What people have heard is Google, you know, chat GPT don't have the latest information. This is how, you know, the. the us commoners will hear this information. Well, what that means is that learning model that GPT is based on the latest information that it has is 2021, right? And so all of the information that you're trying to search or try to find about is only going off of what was scraped. It's called scraping. Scraped from Google or from YouTube or for whatever up until 2021. So if you were to ask, uh, oh, well, I may do this because some of them have connections to the live internet now. But what was the weather yesterday? Oh, I ain't seen it. It may not tell you what the weather was yesterday because it does not have that information from yesterday. If you ask what the weather was December 3rd, 2020, it would be able to give you that information. So those learning models are in place. And then you have, you give weight to, to words, to letters, to everything to try to then give you back the best results. This process is called training the model, if people ever hear that expression. And the model is called a LLM, once again, which is a language learning model. And that's how AIs function on a high level of what you're doing. So they take all this information and they weighted all this information and then they say, okay, well, I just sent it to you. I I forgot. (laughs) Question. I'm going to spit this back. But. You are involved in training chat GPT by telling it, hey, what you gave yep. me is something yep. that is good. Or what you gave me is something that is bad and try it again. Because you guys know you have that try it again feature if you don't like the first response it gave. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to have that. And then it, it, um, what people have to be carried, here's another word you might want to look up. It's called hallucinations. So what Dev mentioned as far as the cat on the moon um, is called a hallucination in the AI's terminology or whatever. And so when you get a result that's ridiculous or a bad result, that's, that's a hallucination. <coughs> so it's like the AI is hallucinating. It can't think straight. Yeah, they're trying to make anal man. <laughs> well, you know, they're going to use words close to intelligence because this is supposed to be artificial intelligence. So they're going to use terminologies that, you know, humans might use to express this. But this is the step to soften us to this merging they want to happen. I think that step took place long ago. That, that well, yeah, but this is one of the you know you got multiple steps to your mm-hmm. goal, mm-hmm. and this is one of the steps is what I'm saying. I think so. I, that go I, to that go to uh, Cats on the Moon uh, AI uh, story from CNBC. So what do you think about it? I, you got some good information on AI. I use AI primarily. I'm an amateur web builder. I build a website, and it's really good Ooh, at man. building okay. me code. For certain pages, I'd be like, man, build me a soccer, because uh, I've got soccer pigs. Give me a, you know, South American soccer, uh, such and such HTML5 page, whatever I say. And it'll do pretty good at it, you know what I mean? So I just think. So are you using it, are you just straight coding or using a combination with Wix or something like that? Um, no, I use my own server. I, I, I run a server. So I, I'm basically. 
I use some of those type of web development applications, what you're saying, that help you kind of, you know, but I also got like a file management system that I could just code, freestyle code a page. What, do you, or what are you coding in HTML? Uh, it could be HTML. It could be, uh, right now I'm trying to learn a few other codes. Cause I'm yeah, look, right look, now, in, look into Python. Yeah. That's one of them, and JavaScript, Python, and also JOS Node. JSON, yeah. Yeah, because those are three that are going to help me, because I'm trying to learn how to contract and, and mint my own NFTs. On my ladies and gentlemen, hey, Rudy Guru, a.k.a. Soccer God, Soccer God, Studio One Live Production. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Once you rent your own server, you can build as many websites as you want. Um, this is a dashboard of my server. List my accounts, my DNS zone manager, server status, I can create new accounts, etc. Uh, here's some of the functions on the side. Um, you know, I ain't gonna get into that. That's another video in itself. If you don't want to deal with the server, I could provide you with a C panel. This basically gives you the tools you need to be your own webmaster. You can actually start your own web hosting business through this platform you got to you have all the email accounts you want all the responders global email filters spam filters all the things you need for email in business or uh, content management systems files I'm gonna show you the file manager in a minute along with the chat GPT that helps me build some of these pages WordPress pair, Perl modules, PHP manager, Softapic list, apps installer. That's another sweet little uh, format. And it goes down here. All these are different uh, platforms you can install onto your server and build from there. For example, like the Avanti cart. Let's take a look at it. Okay, Avanti cart. You'd be able to have pretty much build your website functioning just as you see over here on the side. You can do whatever you want blogs, portals, content management systems, forums, image galleries, wiki. You can make your own wiki, social networking sites, gaming, calendars, polls, e commerce sites, whatever you need, bro. In the web publishing platform or space holla at me hey boo the goo boo this is the chat gpt let's just let's just try it right a quick uh intro page for a soccer and HTML5. Sure, here's a simple code. Bing, 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 bing. All right, see this code? I'm gonna just copy the code. Easy. Go back to my tools panel. Go to your file manager. And uh, do, 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 do. Um, Go to the public, a public directory here. I'm gonna just create a new file. Name it qbutter.html. Create a new file. Now I can go into qbutter HTML editor and You basically can actually input the code into your HT source code. Boom. So you see this HTML headers. You just copy and paste the code in here. And hit save. Let me see how this looks. It probably don't have no functionality because I have to add a, a, a CSS file along into the directory. And that CSS file, basically a style sheet that tells me tells us 
What kind of welcome to soccer world? Explore the latest new match highlight player stat. Okay, that's just a little intro page. And that was a simple page. Now in this code, I can add image links, etc. But this this video gonna get too long. But that's on you. I'll show you where you can find code. Just type, hey, I need a code. You can ask Chat GPT actually. Show me the link. Matter of fact, let's do that. Uh, that shows as a video background image. Let's see. Let's see what it says. I had the image of like, uh oh, oh, there it go. Hold on. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. See, I think it's. Add a header link to show the video background. You can use HTML5 to tag CSS for styling. See the CSS styling style. But anyway, if you need some web development and tutorial, holla at me. I'm not an expert. I'm learning as I go. But these tools are simple enough for you to get started and start your own web publishing company. My own server and have my own well, well, that's my own. A, well, 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 that's a bit different as far as the minting part. That's a whole nother ball game. No, I understand what you're saying, but but what I'm saying is as far as learning that JSON, that's the that's the application that's gonna help you and JavaScript will help you understand the contracts. I ain't yeah. there yet. So I ain't I'm there yet. I'm on, I'm in the learning process on that because I always was wondering why are we gonna mint on these people's platforms and have our money on their wallets. Uh, so that's, that's because the infrastructure in place to run uh, minting is, is uh, those server farms are expensive and electricity is ridiculous so they were having a problem before the bitcoin crash and this is why what's the other one it was it's not bitcoin it's the one right below it people were looking at that as ethereum a, ethereum right. people were looking at ethereum, yeah, ethereum. Yeah. not ethereum yeah. people were looking at ethereum because it was less of a energy strain and took up less electricity as far as like the mathematics and all that stuff is concerned I so just if, think that energy was a was a kind of a scapegoat because they don't no, like no, it's the same thing that's going I, I on with but that's just my opinion. Yeah, it's the same thing that's going on right now with AI and I think NVIDIA did it to do their little thing yesterday. But NVIDIA and whoever's was running into the same problems, AI in general, because of chip making issues as well as what, um, split they stop? I think they just I don't know exactly, but I know they made an announcement yesterday. I'm cool. not, <coughs> Huh? 